And now we're taking you to um, stories from outside Africa. Former United States President Barack Obama on Monday, uh, November 8th, lambasted those who would play politics to avoid acting on climate change, calling out Russia and China in the same breath as Republican politicians back home. He said it was particularly discouraging to see the leaders of the two world, world's largest emitters, China and Russia, declining to even attend the proceedings in Glasgow, Obama said. Most nations have failed to be as ambitious as they need to be. The escalation, the ratcheting up of ambition that we anticipated in Paris six years ago has not been uniformly realized. I have to confess, it was particularly discouraging to see the leaders of two of the world's largest emitters, China and Russia, decline to even attend the proceedings. And their national plans so far reflect what appears to be a dangerous lack of urgency, a willingness to maintain the status quo uh, on the part of those governments. And that's a shame. We need advanced economies like the U.S. and Europe leading on this issue. But you know the facts. We also need China and India leading on this issue. We need Russia leading on this issue, just as we need Indonesia and South Africa and Brazil leading on this issue. We can't afford anybody on the sidelines. The head of Ghana's Environmental Protection Agency, Henry Kofu, said negotiations over funds for adapt adaption and resilience in the, the nation's hardest hits by climate change were not reflecting the levels of ambition publicly voiced by developed countries. It is very disheartening to note that the global goal on adaptation, GCA, as per Article 7.1 of Paris Agreement, is still non-operational. And at this current negotiation rooms, African negotiators are finding it very difficult pushing this agenda through. What has been said at the higher levels of commitment by our colleagues in the G20s and the developed countries are far different from what is happening in the negotiations rooms. It's very unfortunate and sad indeed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.